Hey friends, it's Dimitri through Bashka Streetwear. So today I'm gonna show you how to ship posters. These are some posters that I recently put up on my website and they all sold out very fast. The first batch sold out in like an hour. The second batch sold out in half an hour. I think I sold around maybe almost 40, 45 posters, something like that. Anyways, before I show you how this works, I'm gonna tell you a story. So the first time I sold posters on my website, they were custom posters that I made, super high quality, really thick paper, but I had a problem. So with a poster, you have your length and then your width, right? So when you ship them, you want to ship with the with the shortest side, right? So this, this length is like 16 and a half inches and this length was like, uh, I don't know, 22, so, something like that. So basically what I did in my first round of posters was I bought poster tubes that were this long rather than this long. Now, as you could tell, for an example, compare this width to this, to this length. So there's quite a bit left over. So that adds a lot of weight with the poster tube and that could really affect your shipping costs. Because what happened to me my first round was I had to pay a really large shipping cost to get those posters out and it left me with almost no profit. Um, <clears throat> I did profit a little bit at the, at the end when I sold all the posters, but basically it cut it in half because it, I didn't know what I was doing and that's just something I learned from trial and error. Maybe for some people it's common sense, but for me I didn't think about that. So. Definitely you want to get the you want to get a poster tube that's correlating to the shorter side of your poster and it'll it'll save you a lot of cost. So this poster tube is 18 by 2 inches, so 2 inches tall and then 18 inches long. You also want to get a poster tube that is pretty close. It doesn't you shouldn't get one that's exact because you might have problems fitting it in and it will get crumpled in there. You want it to be close, but not like extremely tight. So if you put these end caps in, these are also cool. You don't have to tape them or do anything or crimp the ends. You just simply pop these in. And these are held in by, see, it's even hard to get in these in sometimes. These are held in by basically friction. They're ribbed. So once you put them in, you really can't get them out unless you're using like your fingers to to rip them out. So when they're getting chipped, they're not gonna pop off or anything. But as you can tell, these are like half an inch tall. So when you put these in, they're taking up some room. That's why I said you don't want to you don't want to get a poster tube that's exactly the width of your poster because this is gonna take up like almost an inch in there. So you got the end on there <clears throat> and then I also like to fold or roll the the good side of it and obviously the face um, so you want to roll it pretty tight one other thing so in the past I also got tubes that were three inches wide but those are a little bit pricey and I think that you can get away with the two inch tube I think this is fine it is a little bit on the tighter side. It's better to have a poster that's loose, but they get really pricey. The difference between a two and a half inch wide poster tube and a two is quite a bit actually. So I went with this one. Um, and then a three inch obviously is even way more. Then I put a free sticker into here. And again, if you're adding like little things in here, like for instance, I could probably probably add a pin set. I could add a couple of stickers in here. If you're thinking about um, adding like a bunch of stickers and stuff into it, maybe get a poster tube that's a little bit wider, something like that. And then a packing slip. Because I'm only adding a packing slip and a sticker into here, I don't really need a poster tube that's super wide. It's not gonna matter. And then I put the other end cap on. Now, the very last easy part is that you want to put your shipping label on it. You wanna make sure that the uh, shipping label is going 
this way around the poster tube, not this way, the, uh, the length, because they have to scan the barcode and then they're not gonna be able to do that. Obviously, easily at the post office, they're gonna give them a headache. It's kind of common sense, but you wanna put the shipping label around. And as you could tell, there's like a half inch um, gap right here. So the label fits perfectly around the two inch poster tube. So those are some tips and tricks. You don't need any additional tape. You don't need anything. It's just three pieces, essentially two caps, the poster tube, and then you have your shipping label and your poster and whatever else you put in there. So there you go. There's a really easy to make and ship poster tube. And this costs around <clears throat> to ship this one. It costs like 450, something like that. So make sure that you core, uh, you add in that cost when you're shipping out posters. If you're using a longer tube and a thicker tube, it's gonna cost you more. So play around with that and figure that out. Anyway, so hope you guys like this video and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.